Okay, now for the second part of the tutorial, we're going to create the body. So if you create a polygon cube again, just like the head, uh, use the scale tool, hit or scale it up and go like that till you get, oops, till you get roughly this size. I will end up adjusting it soon in a little bit. But what I want to do is I want to go to ver vertex vertices and let's right click and select vertices, select the top four, then with scale, scale it in slightly and out. Same with the bottom four, just make them slightly larger. Okay, with that done, go to edit mesh, no sorry, mesh tools insert edge loop and insert one edge loop in the center. Right click, select edges again, go to your tool mode or hit Q, uh, double click around the edge and hit OR for scale and just scale it up so you make more of a box shape. Just like that. Now hit G again to use your last tool, which was the edge loop tool. Hit G, and we're gonna fence off the edges. Make sure to do the top and bottom as well. There you go, that is the first part of the body. So just move it up into the head and now we will create the arm so polygon cube again bring it up and over same technique hit or for the scale tool scale it up use the vertices on top scale them for the top part I want to scale them down slightly and the bottom part scale them up Now, if this isn't working for you, you may still have symmetry switched on. Okay, now grab these two vertices here on top, hit W for the move tool and just drag them in. Same technique like last time, Use press G for the insert edge loop tool. Oops, sorry. Um, go to edit mesh or mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. Click on the edges on the object and just fence off each corner, top and bottom as well. Edit mode. Oops. Back into object mode and then hit the tree key to smooth it out. Same with the body, hit tree key to smooth it out. Move that into position. Rotate. There. That looks about right. Okay, now for the leg. Um, seeing as we have the geometry done on the head, similar to the leg, we're going to use this segment off the head and I'll show you how to do that. If you click on the head and click Control D, move the duplicate head over, right click, select faces and just drag over and delete this portion. Oops, make sure you get it all. Now that we have that in place, if you, uh, this line here in the middle is going to create some problems when we're trying to bridge between here and here to fill in the geometry. Now, to solve that, I'm going to select all the faces in the center and delete them. With that done, right click, go to edge, double click the edge on one side, hold shift, double click the edge on the other side, and then go to mesh tools, uh, edit mesh, underneath edge, hit bridge. 
and there you go that's bridged in now back in object mode click on it hit or for scale and we'll just scale it in we do need to add a we do need to fence off this side and the top to make it smooth out properly so in mesh tools use your edit mesh use your insert edge loop up on the top and then on the side here just like that perfect now hit the tree key and that should smooth out all right yeah except the top will be a little bit weird except that won't matter too much because that will be hidden inside the body so if your pivot point is off center select the object go up to modify and center pivot and that should center your pivot so bring this down over here and hit or to scale to scale to the right size perfect there we go uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add body detail to the arms, legs, and torso. Then after that, and, and the face, we'll add, a, we'll add a mouth and two eyes and some eyebrows. And in the tutorial after that, we will try and create the hair.